Welcome, guys. In today's episode, we shall be talking about the recommended medical textbooks that a beginner should have, like for those in preclinical that offers anatomy, medical biochemistry, and physiology. Right? So stay tuned to the end of this video as we progress. I shall be telling you those recommended medical textbooks because there are plenty of medical textbooks plenty there are plenty authors there are plenty authorities that treat either physiology anatomy and medical biochemistry but at least there are ones you should start with because every textbook has volumes right so if you are coming across to my channel the first time don't forget to subscribe like comment and also share our video so that other students will see it and benefit from it. Now let's proceed. I will start with anatomy, right? I will start with anatomy. If you are a beginner in medical school and you want to purchase anatomy textbook, the first textbook you should purchase, although it depends on your school, you have to ask your school the textbook you are using because some lecturers use these particular textbooks and they expect you to write information according to the textbooks that they are teaching from. But you have to ask them, ask to achieve the, the textbook that your school is using, right, before you purchase your textbook. But mainly, schools either use B. D. Cheruza, B. D. Cheruza's anatomy, ranging from volume 1 to volume 3, right? Also, some schools use last anatomy. So, but I would recommend Billy Cheruza anatomy for you as a beginner in medical school. Get Billy Cheruza's anatomy from volume 1 to volume 3. And also get Frank Nata's atlas for diagram. So that as you are studying this, this uh, topic on, on Billy Cheruza, you are also looking on the detailed illustrated diagram with Frank Nata's Atlas. So that is two textbooks now, right? But then, some lecturers do create slides. Also work alongside with your lecturer's slide. Slide is a kind of a summary, a, a craft from a textbook, like a summary from a textbook. So when you, you are reading with a lecturer's slide, after reading it, then go to the textbook for detailed explanation alongside with the Frank Nata's Atlas. So you are working with three things now. Three things. First is your lecturer's slide on that topic. Second is the textbook, which is Billy Cheruza, right? Anatomy. The third is Frank Nata's Atlas, right? All this I've said is for gross anatomy. Now let's go to the segment of anatomy again, which is uh, embryology. I recommend de developing human get more. I recommend developing human get more. It's a voluminous embryology, right? Also, alongside with Vishram, Vishram is a simplified uh, embryology. It's a simplified embryology. So, but we don't have Vishram. I've not seen Vishram in, in hard copy for embryology. So you can download it online and work alongside with it with the developing human get more, right? So I recommend a developing human get more and also Vishram. Vishram is a simplified embryology. While developing human is a broad, is also good. So work with the two, right? Get developing human get more alongside with Vishram embryology. Now, on the area of histology, which is another segment of anatomy, I recommend the Debesai. Yes, the Debesai histology is so much good. It has diagrams. You will see detailed photomicrographs, those diagrams now that I normally see on slide. They will tell you that this one is how it's being seen on a microscope, which is a photomicrograph. This one is how it is being drawn in exam. Right? There are majorly two diagrams, visually illustrated on in the beside. 
One is the one seen on the microscope, which is a photomicrograph. While the other one is the one that will tell you that this is the one you are going to draw in the exam, how it's being drawn, right? So those are the recommended textbooks for the family of anatomy, ranging from gross anatomy, histology, and embryology, right? But do not forget to work with the lecturer's slide. First, work with your slide so that as you are writing on something in your exam, first present the information from that slide before you present the one from your textbooks, right? Or any other source again, right? I believe that is making sense, okay? So if you are making your notes, your notes should comprise of your lecturer's slide, your textbooks, and your research. So that when you deliver, it will be so authentic and organic, right? So that is all for the family of anatomy. Now let's go to biochemistry, medical biochemistry. There's no much thing to talk on medical biochemistry, no much thing. I recommend DM versus Devan. It's a beginner's textbook in medical biochemistry. There are plenty of authorities in medical biochemistry, plenty of authorities, plenty of authorities. But as a beginner, go with DM versus Devan, right? Go with DM versus Devan. And also work alongside with S. Chakrapani is an Indian textbook. I've not seen it on hard copy. You can download it online. S. Chakrapani. Do you get? So check it online. You will get it. But start with DM versus the van. It will help you. However, do not forget to work with your lecturer's slide. First of all, work with your slide. After reading their slide, the slide is just a kind of a shallow and and extracted knowledge and an extract of knowledge in biochemistry so when you get it you read the slide then go and read it in textbook to get a detailed understanding of it because you'll be shocked that they will not ask you what that is in on that slide they might they will ask you what that is even in that topic but not in that slide so it is a smart move that you read the topic in your textbook after reading it with your slide. So your topic should comprise of the lecturer's slide. I mean, your note should comprise of the lecturer's slide, your textbook, and other sources you have. But do not play with the lecturer's slide and DM versus the van as a beginner. As a beginner, DM versus the van is a beginner's textbook for those in preclinical, right? As you advance in your preclinical studies, you get to know other authorities, but we start with DM versus Devan. And also work alongside with S. Chakrapani. It's an Indian textbook, right? However, the lecturer slide is number one companion you have because in Nigerian studies, you don't work contrary with the lecturer's information. His own should come first, her own should come first before your textbook and also other sources you have, right? Now, that is all for medical biochemistry. Let's go to physiology. On the area of physiology, you have to work with essential physiology, which is sambuligam and also or guiding. Two of them are good. Either you work with essential physiology or you work with guiding, right? That is important. But I will advise you I would advise you to ask your, your school, inquire from your school to know the one they are using. Because some school normally use essential, some school normally use guiding. Right? So ask your school first to you know the, the physiology that's what they are using before you purchase. But is in is within the confines of either essential physiology, which is some really gum, and also guiding physiology. Right? However, don't play with the lecturer's slide. The slide is so important, or PDF. Get it first, read the PDF first before reading it on your textbook, which is either essential physiology or guiding. Above all these things I'm saying, your literal slide comes first before, a, before any other sources because that slide that have been teaching with it, that have worked with it, they know the information in the slide. So when you give them the information that is not from the slide in your exam, it's as if you are not working in accordance with what they're telling you in class, right? So the other information should always come first before yours, which is your textbook or any other sources. So I believe with this, 
you can know what to do as you are preparing to enter preclinical. However, there are plenty of textbooks, but these are the recommended ones as a beginner. As you advance in your preclinical level, you get to see plenty of authorities. Plenty of authorities. I would have loved to mention it here, but it's not necessary. Because these are just like the basics of things you should know as you are joining in your preclinical level. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. I really appreciate it.